Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In previous video, we have discussed about uh, difference between first angle projection and third angle projection. In this video, we will discuss the general step to be followed for solving any orthographic view problem. And also, we will uh, go through a step by step and solve one orthographic problem. So, let's start. So, first step find out the relative position of a front view and side view so that you can uh, easily manage this space in your seat we know in first angle projection uh, our left hand side view should be drawn on the right side of the front view and right hand side view should be drawn on the left side of the front view so if you don't uh, identify the relative position of a front view side view then many a times you don't keep the space for drawing your side view so it will be difficult at a later stage to erase the whole part and again draw it so that's why first try to find out relative position of a front view and side view so how to do that let's say this is my object this is the direction of observer so this is the front view direction now to view the side view i have to compulsorily see from this side right so this is nothing but a left hand of the observer so this becomes my left hand side view so left hand side view should be drawn on the right side of the front view right so this would be the relative position of front view and side view all again top view always drawn below the front view in case of first angle projection and left hand side view should be drawn on the right side of the front view so this is my relative position of a front view and side view i hope it is clear now next step is identify the three dimension of the object length breadth and height consider the horizontal dimension in front view as a length vertical dimension in front view as a height and horizontal dimension in a side view as a breadth so let's say this is the object uh, this is the direction of observer so horizontal dimension in in front view is my length vertical dimension in front view is my height and horizontal dimension in side view is my breadth so in our objects let's identify the maximum length height and breadth so this is the direction of observer right so horizontal dimension is this in 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 case of front view so this is 45 plus 20 that is uh, 65 plus 25 that is 90 plus 25 so 90 plus 25 115 so maximum length is 115 maximum height vertical dimension in front view this is 15 plus this is 30 so that's that is the maximum height 45 maximum height of the object is 45 and maximum breadth of the object which is nothing but horizontal dimension in side view this is my uh, direction of side view so maximum horizontal dimension in side view that is 50 i hope you understand the concept maximum length maximum height and maximum breadth now for drawing the front view if i make a rectangle of length in by height 115 by 45 then in that rectangle i can draw my front view isn't it so that is the idea now identify the surface which are visible in front view so the surface which are marked with the yellow color those surfaces are visible while viewing the object from this side so these are the surfaces which are visible in a front view so visible this part of the wave portion is also visible the semicylindrical object the up to this center line it is visible again this curved edge would be represented as a straight line in front view similar way this curved edge also is visible up to this uh, center line and it is also represented as a straight line similar way these are the surfaces which are represented by blue color that are visible in a top view right this is again hollow cylindrical hole so there would be no uh, surface over here so let's start uh, drawing our front view so draw the light box of 115 by 45 maximum length by maximum height so let's say this is my maximum length by maximum height rectangle now in that rectangle we can start drawing front view from any one of the corner so let's start with this point right so i have to move this is vertical height represented with a straight line so here would be some boundary of this curved edge 
so let's start with this from this point to this point this height is 15 so that is the corner point represented over here so this is that vertical height we have reached up to this point now this whole curved edge is represented as a straight line so what is the length of that straight line we can find that over here 45 millimeter up to the center line and from center line maximum radius is 25 so 20, 45 plus 25 that is 70 so from this point onwards we have to draw 70 millimeter straight line now we have to draw up to this so after that we have to move upwards so what is that height that is 30 millimeter so this is 15 plus 30 so 45 millimeter height that uh, we can draw it so we have reached up to this again this edge and this edge are overlapping so no need to draw it separately now again this is straight line we have to move from here to, um, from this point to towards this curved edge so from this point to center line the distance is 20 millimeter and from center to this maximum radius is 25 so distance is total 45 so from this point onwards this distance is 45 from from this point onwards we have to move downwards so this and we have to join this complete boundary so this is the complete boundary of the front view now we have to add the additional features whatever are uh, available in the object there are two cylindrical holes right so th that that are not visible in the front view so we have to draw it using hidden line those are the hidden holes now next step is we have to locate the center line whenever such a cylindrical hole or circular entities are available in the object uh, first you locate its center line so if i want to locate the center line of this circular hole then it will be uh, 25 millimeter from uh, this extreme left edge so from this extreme left edge it is at a distance of 25 and similar way this center line uh, at a distance of 25 from the extreme right so this way we can locate this center line this two center line now from this center line the inner hole has a radius 11 so on the both the side we draw at a distance of 11 mm uh, using hidden line and here the radius is 14 millimeter so from center line 14 millimeter on the both the side this way we can draw the hidden hole now again this inclined edge is also visible in front view to locate that from this edge at a distance of 30 millimeter we have to mark one point over here and that point would be directly joined with this corner point so this way we can complete our uh, front view and again remaining portion whatever is not necessarily you have to erase that portion so this edge is not necessary so we have to erase that straight line we have to so this is my complete front view still dimensioning is missing uh, we have represented on only two dimension the remaining dimensioning we will complete when we draw it manually i hope you understand how to draw the front view now next part is let's draw it's a top view so in a top view two dimension which are visible is uh, uh, length and breadth right so our object has a length equal to 115 and breadth is equals to 50 so if i make a rectangle of 50 by 115 then in that rectangle i can fit my top view isn't it in a top view again this semicircular edges are visible so this curved edges are visible right so let's draw first a rectangle box of 115 by 50 let's start with locating the center line first because the circle is easily visible in top view so first we locate the center line so this is the one of the center line of this circle smaller circle and this is the another center line of the bigger circle again let's using this center line and uh, center equal to the midpoint of this uh, 20, 50 distance so this point is a center and 25 is a radius draw a semicircle so this is semicircle is visible in top view similar way this center line take a midpoint and 25 is a radius and uh, uh, this point is a center draw another semicircle and join all these two semicircle using this two straight line so these are nothing but my top view boundary right from this center line at a distance of 20 millimeter you we have to draw this edge so that edge we uh, is drawn over here again 
this horizontal center line that we should locate actually earlier so that we can easily get the center of the circle in top view this uh, wave is represent as a straight line isn't it this two edge are visible in a top view so that should be represented using a straight line so this two vertical straight uh, horizontal straight line now to draw this circle this point is a center and 11 mm as a radius draw this circle similar with this point is a center and 14 mm as a radius draw another circle so this way we can complete our top view and we have to erase the unnecessarily construction line so this is my complete top view i hope you understand the concept how to draw the top view then uh, identify the surfaces which are visible in a side view and start drawing from one of the corner so uh, these are the surfaces which are visible in a side view again so this portion of the wave is also visible in side view and these two faces are visible in side view so in side view maximum breadth is 50 mm and maximum height is 45 mm so if i make a rectangle of 50 by 45 then in that rectangle i can draw my left hand side view so before starting the side view let's first locate the center line which is exactly located at the mid of this uh, 50 mm right so at, at exactly mid let's draw the center line so from one of the corner we can start from that corner so this curved edge curved surface is represented as a rectangle right so that would be the size of 15 by 50 so this vertical edge is 15 then 50 so this rectangle represented this curved edge okay from this point onwards this this uh, this edge has a length of 30 so that part is represented over here so 30 mm vertically up then both the side vertically up and join this so this is my uh, border of the side view now uh, this wave is inclined again right so from the center line the width of the wave is 10 mm so from this center line 5 mm on both this side we have to draw that wave and that wave is only up to this 30 mm height this is a cylindrical hole is throughout the height so we have to represent that using hidden line so this point is a center this is this is my center line and 14 mm radius we have to draw the hidden line at a distance of 14 mm on both the side of the center line and this all is only available up to the height of 15 mm and radius is 11 so this is my 15 mm height and radius is 11 so this that's how this left hand side view is, would be drawn i hope you understand the concept and this is the complete drawing we have to draw it exactly uh this way this is my front view below that this is my top view and uh, front uh, on the right side of my front view there will be a left hand side view right so this is the complete pictures of orthographic view of particular object we have to draw this way only in the next video we will start drawing this uh, part manually so stay tuned and do like share and subscribe for such a more content and we'll see you in the next video